You know and I know that one of the issues that you have in this industry is turnover. One of the issues in turnover is that people will, on a regular basis, be looking. Anybody notice the inverse relationship in your industry? When the economy goes south, you've got potential of more people. When the economy heats up, uh, it's a little bit harder to find folks. Am I right? I have a suggestion for you. If you made recognition, I mean a daily basis, never leaving your workplace until you have caught somebody doing something right, in those moments when the economy shifts and you know you're going to be losing people, I'm suggesting that people would hang on. Stay with me for a moment. I've got 14 ways for you to take to motivate people without giving them more money. You can wear your integrity. People trust people with integrity. Express appreciation. Give recognition, which we talked about. Practice self-management. People don't fo follow people unless they do a good job of managing himself, herself. Raise the bar on the outlier. You know who that is? That's the person on a regular basis who gives you a hard time. You know what they're expecting? They're expecting you to give them the least. You can actually, when you raise the bar, you can give the person something he or she is not looking for and watch the person take you up on the offer. Create worthy work. Remain optimistic in tough times. Identify your errors. You want to motivate people? Start mentoring someone. Share your authority and responsibility. Encourage people to play with ideas. Walk up to them and say, what's your idea on how we can improve the routing here? Get their ideas. Value them through training. Practice dirty hands leadership, which you do very well. Strategic career pathing. How do people move up in pupil transportation? When they realize that there is a way for them to grow the way you have grown, they'll stay with you. An episodic celebration. I'm talking about walking in with a pizza, with Krispy Kreme, with something else that isn't going to do anything for anybody's body, will, but will do a great deal for, deal for their soul to know that you decided to, to start an impromptu party because they are there. I'd like to point out that the majority of people, when you ask them what would motivate you, are going to say, sure, just pay me more. I want to show you a study out of Dr. Theodore Herzberg back in 1962, who said the following. Do you see zero to 50% on the left-hand side? Zero to 50% on the right-hand side? He found out that the biggest demotivator in any work environment, watch this, is anytime you change policy and the administration of that policy. Have you changed where people can smoke? Have you changed where they can park? Have you changed the copay on a health pro a care program? People will continue to talk about that forever and ever. Amen. Does everybody see salary? Hersberg said it's about an 8% a turn off, about a 7% a turn on. And he said you can give people more money, but it will never, ever be enough. I have to go back to Deborah. Whatever you got in your pocket would never, ever again get me up here to sing in front of 500 people. Do you know that people are going to say to you, just pay me more? You know what? It doesn't do it. You know what does it? Hersberg said this. One of the two biggest motivators, they are achievement and recognition. It is. Now watch this. I got something done today that matters. That's why you've got the best job in the world. When I work for Harley Davidson and for the dealers, as great a company as they are, I need to let you know people get bent out of shape when they look at the bottom of a spreadsheet and it proves that this past month we did not move enough road kings 
and its soft tail deluxe. 